Hey guys, good to be with you here today. I was just on the phone a couple of days ago with somebody who said, man, I just didn't know it was gonna be like this. And that really is the nature of things right now, isn't it? Just wanted to give you a quick update. It's been a while since we've done, a, like, I don't know, breaking news or status updates on the things that are going on here with us. And so, uh, obviously we're still, right now, doing our weekend gatherings all online. Uh, and people keep asking, so when is that gonna change? When are we gonna be back in person? And my answer is, as soon as possible. We do have some ideas of some things that we're gonna do, probably come mid-September, so just in a couple, three weeks. So stay tuned as a little teaser to stay tuned for other updates for us on this. But we're excited about some, some gatherings we're gonna do Inside, outside, still figuring out logistics of that. We're doing all this, guys, not out of fear, but out of respect for our political and health officials. We're also doing it as a great sense of love and care for you, figuring what's the best, most loving thing we can do right now, knowing we want to get back in person as soon as we can. You guys have stayed connected to us so well. I get that I have talked to a lot of you, gone off to other churches for a bit just to be sitting there around other people for a gathering. There's no drama or weirdness with that. Just stay tuned here. So as soon as we're back to doing in-person services, come on back over to us with those gatherings that we're gonna do. Also wanna encourage you that you have continued to be faithful with your giving. And that can be a tricky thing in times like this where I can get kind of turbulent and kind of pull back and instead of pulling back you have stepped out and stepped forward we've been able to meet all of our obligations haven't had to furlough people we've been able to help people right here in our community with physical needs with mental health and emotional needs with counseling we've been able to help missionaries and international workers all over the world who have had to take some cutbacks in pay because of uh, their organizations have faced cutbacks because of your giving and you're giving not just when life is smooth and easy, but when it got real turbulent, you've continued to step out. That's just amazing to me. I'm so glad being a pastor here and just being part of something here where you guys do that. And of course, in-person gatherings are going to start again real soon during the week. Destination Community, our small group 2021 20, season is kicking off just in right around the corner by the time you watch this it may have already kicked off uh, get in one of our small groups they meet on various nights during the week we're keeping them as small as possible uh, try to do social distancing some of those groups will be in-person gatherings and we'll do those at people's houses in their backyards primarily bring your own chair bring your own food and drinks and all that just for being uber careful and safe some of our groups will be online only groups zoom google meets all those and more so stay tuned for all of that go to our website uh, if you haven't been there yet and check the updates out and get online get signed up it's one of the best things you'll do and i know it can be challenging right now to withdraw and hold back feeling overwhelmed and busy some of you do better by yourself and all that you feel like i'm more independent and all that now i'm just telling you don't see it as an obligation see it as a gift See it as something, man, that just will be so good for you personally, for your family, for your children, for your co-workers, for your in-laws, all that and more. It'll be a great thing to, to get away on online or in person and get signed up for that. I want to remind you, like Peter reminds the churches he writes to in the first century, he would write the same thing in the 21st century. At the end of a letter, he would write to us like he wrote to them. I'm writing, I'm speaking to you right now to encourage you that what you're experiencing is truly part of God's grace for you. Stand firm in this grace. I love you guys. Love seeing you around town. Love being there together when we can. I can't wait till we all get back together again. But for now, Destination Community, get signed up for one of our groups.